these are the Prada Flame Heels. They're patent leather and retail for around $1,100. They come in pink, orange, black, Billie Eilish, silver, and I think they're incredible. In my opinion, this is what fashion really should be. Beautiful and striking, really unique with a, with a sense of humor. To me, I think they're funny because it's kind of referencing kind of the late 90s, early 2000s, Guy Ferrari, Walmart flame shirt kind of thing. They're not too pretentious or like, oh, it's fashion, you wouldn't get it. Like, they're flame heels, you get it, they're funny. I just think they're cool. There hasn't really been much room for glamorous or striking shoes in the last year. I've been wearing these every day. Besides that, the only exciting thing that's been on my feet this year is roller skates. Today I'm gonna be making boot covers for my roller skates with Prada flames on them. Hello and happy afternoon. I'm Jess, I like making things. In my videos, I make a weird thing that I think should exist or exist differently. And in this case, we're making boot covers and Prada Flame shoes, but kind of just putting them together. <laughs> so instead of buying new spandex, I'm just going to cut up an old pair of leggings for this. Today is going to be very machine heavy. I'm going to sew the boot covers myself, and I'm going to dust off my Silhouette Cameo vinyl cutting machine to cut out the vinyl into flames. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to figure it out somehow. Not say I know what I'm doing, but I'm going for it. All right, choppity chop the crotch of the pants. Ooh, can I just rip it? Oh yeah. I have four pieces of fabric like this. Before I start sewing, I'm just gonna like, pin it in place and put it on the skate just to see if it works. These are the Voltage Green Impala roller skates. I bought them right before like the pandemic induced like skate fever really peaked. I skated a lot when I was a kid. I really liked it. I'd take lessons on Saturdays. It was fun. It was this place where you go and you rent your own skates. Like, they were tan with orange wheels. So roller skating and like roller disco was really big in the 70s. A lot of them have gone under due to rising insurance costs. <laughs> this is embarrassing, but I had a really bad fall. And it's totally my fault. I fell because I was filming myself skating. I fell right on my hand. Yeah, I couldn't do anything for like several weeks. I was really worried my wrist was broken. Turns out it was just a bone bruise and I'm totally healed and fine. Since then, I have invested in a lot of pads. I've got elbow pads, knee pads, and most importantly, I've got wrist guards. I think I need different wheels to skate outside because the only place I'm really comfortable is like there's a basketball court around here. God, a lot of people could do that thing where they're like just standing in one place, just kind of moonwalk skating. I don't know how people do that. I really like skating in a rink, just going in big circles, but if I'm in a smaller space, it's, it's a lot more difficult for me. A little fitting here. I think this is gonna work. I really hate these leggings because they're like thermal and warm and I need clothes that cool me off generally. And this won't be going on my skin, so. I think it's a good use of, I think I got these leggings at like Goodwill or something to be honest. I'm gonna do some cutting here. I'm happy with that. So now that I have a good like pattern design on here, I'm gonna trace it on to the other one, pin it, and I'll be back for some sewing. This isn't exactly a tutorial. I'm just trying to hang out and make weird things. But really, you just, uh, with boot covers, you just sew along the sides. You leave the top and the bottom open, and you put elastic there, which I hope will arrive soon. Also, not to flex, but I've uh, made, like, everything you see here today. This was just an old sheet I had and I was like painting a lot of like furniture and stuff at the time. And I just really like how the paint looks on it. I made this t-shirt myself, ordered a bunch of t-shirts in a bunch of different colors and I kind of Frankenstein them together. And I also made these earrings out of polymer glaze. Okay, we're all pinned. Boop, boop, boop. I'm just gonna like zigzag stitch on the edge here. Yeah. we have so far. They're not quite done yet. I'm waiting for elastic to arrive from Amazon. It, it should be here in like probably 10 minutes. And I'm so I'm gonna put elastic at the top and at the bottom so it won't look quite this loose. But I'm really happy with how this came out. I have ordered some vinyl. It's actually glow in the dark, which I'm really excited about. It was the closest match I could find to the wheels and the brake. So I'm gonna go ahead and design that on the computer. <laughs> about ready to cut it out with my vinyl cutter. The elastic for the skates was supposed to be here about an hour ago and now I don't know when it's gonna get here. So this is not gonna get completed today, but that's fine. I am TV, welcome to my vinyl cutter. All right, one sheet's done. 
doesn't look glow in the dark. We'll see if you can hear me over the sound of this vinyl cutter. What we've done, created our flame cutout design on the computer. And we've sent it to this thing, which is basically a printer, but with instead of ink, it has a blade. And it's uh it's cutting stuff. Yeah. Alright, we're done. Well, I just cut everything out. The machine will only cut through the plastic layer. It's not cutting through everything because the type of vinyl I'm using is not meant for this. The machine did it once and then I had to cut around the edges to get the back layer and I just realized that I can just have the machine cut through everything twice. getting very grouchy. I'm getting a little bit frustrated with this. I think I'm going to sign off for the night and I will see y'all tomorrow. The other day's frustration was brought to you by accidental intermittent fasting. What is intermittent fasting? What is so fast about those mittens? Tonight at seven. Yesterday I finished all the prep work on the skates. The elastic finally came and I sewed that to the top and the bottom of the skates to give this really nice look. I think it came out really good. I was off camera but I was filming my hands. With the vinyl cutter I cut out these pre-cut holes so that I could sew it and it wouldn't rip. I planned this design so the rectangle on the black part of the flames would fold in half sandwiching a layer of yellow vinyl between two layers of black vinyl. I decided to sew the layers together like this to avoid using glue and to prevent the vinyl from just getting ripped off the fabric during inevitable roller skating falls and accidents. All of the pre-cut sewing holes line up for this and I'm using pins to get everything straight. I'll sew through these pre-cut sewing holes again later when I sew these vinyl flames onto the fabric of the boot covers themselves. There is definitely a better way of doing all of this. Leave your frustrated musings in the comments below. Now all I need to do is Lilo and stitch this all together. <laughs> I'm keeping the boot covers on the skates while I do this, just so I could really make sure that I know where it's going to go after everything's stretched out into the right place. Let me thread a needle. First try, got it. So I have a few updates from my last video. I solved the $100,000 puzzle. I kind of figured out how to cheat. Although I don't know if I could even call it that because it still took me eight hours to finish it after I figured out a shortcut, which is ridiculous. I watched a YouTube video of somebody else making the puzzle and they said they spent 27 hours on it. When I heard that, I was like, I need to figure out a faster way of doing this. Here's how I solved the $100,000 puzzle. The puzzles are all printed differently, but as far as I can tell, they're all cut the same. So just go online, go on Instagram or YouTube, find somebody else who's completed the puzzle and get a photo of it. Then just zoom in on the pieces, orient a photo so that it matches the outer border of your puzzle. And most likely you're gonna find that somebody else's puzzle is cut the same way as yours. You sort the puzzle into the six different type of pieces that I described the other week. From there, the possibilities of what piece goes where gets a lot simpler. I won 25, Sense. Originally, I thought the $100,000 puzzle was a really good idea. I thought it was a really fun concept, but I no longer feel that way. That puzzle was a lot of work, and puzzles are supposed to be fun, and it's just not one. It's just two colors and there's no picture. And imagine how many people spent frustrating, unhappy time trying to solve this puzzle. Like, it's just not very considerate. I had this idea that maybe I could paint over the puzzle. I went in with no plan, and it came out ugly, and I hate it and the pieces are all permanently stuck together now, but occasional failures are fine. And that's all I'll say on that. Once I put the flames on here, I feel like these and you know, the Prada flame heels in general, they have real Fire Nation energy. I can imagine like Fire Lord Azumi stepping out in these. Are you kidding me? That'd be fabulous. I was thinking about it recently and I think Avatar The Last Airbender was kind of like my Harry Potter in a way. I loved it when it originally came out. The show, even though it was made over 10 years ago, the quality still holds up today. I thought it was a great show. Like the world building, the real life issues it faces, like sexism, genocide, imperialism, and the real life implications of it. The character building, the redemption arcs, are you kidding me? Like it was all so good and I don't usually care for action shows and movies. I was thrilled that Netflix brought Avatar The Last Airbender to the masses last year when they made the first three seasons available. I've read the show got like 10 times more popular after that. Anyway, after 2012's live action monstrosity, I was really worried about what Netflix was going to do to the show. I don't think another live action version is a good idea. Although, I mean, I'm still going to watch it, so I have something to complain about. I'm really thrilled about Avatar Studios. You know, the, the show creators, they built such a fascinating, rich 
world and the original two shows. And I hope we keep getting more and more stories from it over the coming years. Two things I'd like to see from Avatar Studios. I really like the story of Juan, the first airbender, which was a story they touched on in Legend of Korra. Like back when the airbenders like still existed and everything before they were wiped out by the Fire Nation. Ow! I'd want to hear more about that time period. And of course the comics cover it to an extent, but I would hope the new shows or movies show what happened between Avatar, The Last Airbender, and Legend of Korra in the main characters' lives. And of course the big question, is Mei Azumi's mom? It's gotta be. Or is someone else her mother? It's never been officially disclosed. And what happened to Sokka? This has been making roller skates with fire on them as an excuse to talk about Avatar, The Last Airbender. I'm just stitching this together, trying not to go too far in there that I sew the shoelaces onto the boot cover. That would not be good. Also, I wanted to give a brief update on the corn people on Facebook. I successfully angered a couple hundred corn people on Facebook. Basically, there's this weird Facebook group called a group where everyone angry reacts to corn. If you click the link in the top right corner right now, you can watch my previous videos on projects I've made to piss off the corn people. I received angry Michael Scott gifts. I received angry Leslie Nope gifts. I gained five subscribers and soon after I decided to public my subscriber count. I was going to wait till I had 100 subscribers, but I'm at 45 as of today. Tying a knot. This is some pretty sloppy sewing, but none of it will be seen. I finished skates. You want to see them? You want to see them? Okay. Here they are. Look at these. This is so cool. I'm so happy I was able to give my skates a non-permanent different look that still looks good with these neon yellow brakes and wheels. Hello? Hello? I'm really happy with how this came out. I spent a lot of time on the boot covers and I think they look absolutely perfect. You could never tell that they used to be leggings. They are kind of annoying to get on, I found. You have to kind of stick your leg through the boot cover and kind of pull this a little bit off your calf, then put on the skates and tie it, and then pull the boot cover down over it. All that's left is for me to go skating in them. I kind of like that it has some movement. If you want to see more of me making weird things that I think should exist or exist differently, please like and prescribe. Please like and subscribe. If you want to see what I'm up to in between uploads, I'm on Instagram at Jessica Craftsman. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!